Hi there guys and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be just a few things as to what I've been up to recently and a bit more progress towards my insane final boss. So to start off with then, I a while back now managed to get the Jad pet, which is a requirement for the insane final boss title, despite the fact that it's not obtained from Jad. You get actually get it from getting 100 zeal plus a fire cape at Soul Wars. Uh, I was lucky enough to do this on the double, uh, double minigame rewards weekend at the end of May, so it actually didn't take me too long, but it still took quite a while. This was something that I was really happy to be able to do on the double rewards because I got bored enough as it was just sitting in Soul Wars, uh, so I would have had to be there for twice as long, as well as try and find the teams that were going, whereas there are actually people going this weekend, so I got pretty lucky with that. Next up, so I've been doing quite a lot of uh, God Wars Dungeon 2 masses. Clearly I need lots of these pets now, or pretty much the only pets aside from Corpse, and I need left for Insane Final Boss. So I've been doing lots of massing. Uh, I'm going to throw a few clips in of me missing a few drops and also getting a few drops. Uh, and then you will also see the fact that I managed to obtain my second uh, Vindicta pet, which was Vindidi. And I got this on, I think it was like my 11th hard mode or challenge mode kill, which was really nice to get actually. Kind of a little bit of a shame that I got it so early, but I did have pretty high KC, so unsurprising. As most of you know, I then went and did most of my Vindictor Challenge Mode, so I haven't got too many kills left of that. Uh, and then I've been doing quite a lot of Duo Corp, uh, sort of using a Gothic Staff, which has recently come into the game as pretty useful. Uh, so a friend of mine's really helping me with that, uh, not crazy, and I really appreciate that. So I'm hoping to be able to pick up my Corp pet pretty soon. I'm just coming up to the third threshold of 1.5k kills, so... Maybe I can get lucky. I mean, I know a lot of people have gone dry there, so I'm not actually uh, hoping to get it anytime soon. However, I am getting pretty much all of the kills, which is really nice. And then I've actually been doing quite a lot of Rago duos. I spent quite a long time um, just sort of perfecting this. It does take quite a while just sort of, you know, working through the motions and, and discovering what's good and what's not. And, you know, spending time failing kills, which can kind of get frustrating, but it's really good fun. And I've managed to get quite a few kills now. So that's pretty good and then as some of you will know i ended up going to help as i do or always do i'll do a bit of rago every now and then and i ended up going to help uh, a few friends get malls or help friends who were helping friends get malls and because i often do rago in full vitalis teams i didn't take out my vit out of my house uh, and then on the, fa on the phase one of the kill, I realized and said, look, guys, I haven't taken my vit out. And they were like, oh, it's fine. Don't worry. It's just one kill. Just take it out after. That was fine. And the odds of me getting a second Vitalis are un like stupidly rare. Like, I've never seen it happen. And what do you know? I got another vit and pretty much everyone went nuts. Um, I felt really bad at the time. I mean, there's not a lot I can do about it now, so I'm sorry to Ethan or Suspection and Fishy and whoever else I, you know, could have had that chance. But there's not a lot else I can do about it. So that was pretty cool to get, not going to lie. Like, I had, I mean, my Twitter just blew up. Um, it was absolutely crazy. My PM, you know, I, d I didn't actually have my recorder on, unfortunately, but I turned it on pretty quickly and I got a screenshot or two. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty awesome, not going to lie. In, for those of you that don't know, the drop rate is 1 in 5,000 in normal mode, but this was in hard mode, so it's 1 in 2,500. And considering the fact that I was in uh, the kill with Thor, or wood cutting, as you've probably seen from my recent video, it's probably, I mean, the chance of getting two vits in one week, one with somebody that has absolutely camping it for the last probably year and had 4,000 kills on counter, and my second one, which I was just not expecting it whatsoever, was pretty insane. That's pretty much it for this one. I'm very hyped for Telos coming in a week's time. They announced today that the tier 92 weapons will be dropped by Telos with a similar mechanic to Araxor in the fact that you need sort of leg pieces and then hilts. Um, so that should be pretty cool. Um, and hopefully to make some money there and some interesting videos as well. Obviously there's another pet, it's called Tez. So that will put me back a little bit, but it should be pretty fun and very profitable going forward. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. That's it for this one guys, I have made quite a lot of progress, put in quite a few hours, not really showing yet because I haven't managed to get that much luck at God Wars Dungeon 2, but I've got pretty high KCs now, so hopefully I can grind some more out and get a few more pets and get pretty close to insane final boss by the time Telos comes out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, and I hope to see you in the next one.